Simon YouTube and welcome back to Deck Profiles. Today we are going to be looking over a Volcanion EX anti-garb deck. Now I do admit this is a bit delayed. Um, Madison Regionals was a good good time now away, but I'm just starting to get into giving you guys these videos. I've bulk recorded previously up to this point, so give me a bit of it here. I'm trying to set up for a, a release of a game coming out and I want to be able to stream all that, so me bulk recording is the only way I can get TCGO videos to you and not fall behind on all of it. Anyway, um, and again I also have to apologize for the MLPB video, the only one going up on the Monday. I'm going to have to use those MLPB videos to be like our, our re one of our regular uploads just, just until I can get that game kind of underway. But either way, let's get into Volcano EX. Uh, Volcano EX is the 180 HP fire and water type Pokemon. Uh, with steam up, once during your turn, you may discard a fire energy from your hand, and you, uh, your basic fire types do 30 more damage. Beautiful. Uh, this Pokemon can't attack during your next turn. So, Volcano EX has proven to be a pretty big card in the meta for quite a while now, and now that it doesn't use a whole lot of item cards, it's even better. Yeah, it's scarily even better. So we'll go over the list. We're using one Turtonator GX, which is the first time Turtonator GX is being used on our channel. Uh, 190 HP Fire Type Pokemon Basic with Shell Trap, two colorless energy, 20 damage. If your opponent decides to hit you with damage next turn, they're going to be taking 80 damage. You have Bright Flame, 160 damage for two uh, two Fire Energies, one colorless. Uh, you do have to discard two Fire Energies to use it. But you also have that big old Nitro Tank GX attack for one fire energy. Attach five fire energy cards from your discard pile to your Pokemon any way you like. And this really helps out Volcanion a lot because you don't really need to use like Energy uh, Recycler, uh, Volcanion, or Baby Volcanion here. He doesn't have to have as much pressure up in the front line when you can just go for a nice uh, Nitro Tank GX. And you can get this out, you know, pretty early depending on how many steam ups you're doing, what kind of deck your opponent is using, it really all comes up to good situational use. Uh, Turtonate GX was definitely a nice tool for Volcanion. Um, obviously we do have the baby Volcanion, 130 HP fire type Pokemon with power, heater, one fire for 20 damage, and you get to choose two of your basic Pokemon, or sorry, two of your benched Pokemon, attach a fire energy from your discard pile to each of those. Uh, you also have steam artillery for three fire energy, 100 damage, uh, just a nice flat out damage. We are going to be running three Tapu Lele. Now this might be overkill, but this is just something I thought would be great. This way I have a guaranteed way of getting into Wonder Tag. Um, if you want to use another item card or whatever you want to do, that is by all means a cool idea. Uh, just I want three of them just because not only did I have them, but they're a good, a, a good way of getting kind of getting around things here. Uh, so we do have that Wonder Tag ability that lets us grab a supporter card from our deck. Uh, we have that energy energy drive attack for two colorless energy. We can do 20 times the amount of energy on both Tapu Lele and our opponent's Pokemon. This is a good little setup. Uh, guy, if I can't get a baby Volcanion or somebody up, uh, Volcanion can target Tapu Lele. It's not going to be too bad uh, because we can just drop energy down and start attacking. It does have that copy, uh, the Tapu Kier GX, but we cannot use it. We do not run Psychic Energy here. And the last oddball Pokemon here is going to be the Starmie uh, from Evolutions, 90 HP. It's a stage 1 water type with Space Beacon. This is all we're using. Space Beacon, once during your turn, you may discard a card from your hand if you do put two basic energy cards from your discard pile into it. This means we can steam up a bunch of times, then get those energies back, and then attach them. So Starmie is actually a fantastic card for this deck. Uh, now going into our item usage now. I'm only running one field blower. Uh, choose up to two in any combination of tools or stadiums, and you can remove them. Uh, you could run two. Uh, I'm running two rescue stretcher. I think this one would be more important for a uh, Volcanion deck, just because it gives a, uh, gives you that option of either grabbing a Pokemon and putting it into your hand, or grabbing three and putting them into your deck. Uh, having that ability is just it's nice to have in this because again, I might have to go for that knocked out Tapu Lele. I might have to go for that knocked out Volcanion EX put him on the bench, go for steam ups, and do damage. I don't know how it's going to work out, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, we have four Ultra Ball, discard your hand, draw, uh, sorry, discard your hand, draw, discard two cards from your hand, uh, if you do search your deck for a Pokemon of your choice. Uh, you get the VS Seeker, put a supporter card from your discard pile into your hand. I do know a lot of people are starting to run three of these instead of four because of the garb. Um, again, we're not running a whole lot of items here. You can, can 
you can entirely lower your item counts use you know kukui and all that kind of stuff uh we're we're really not that high if you really look at considered to all sorts of other decks and you don't have to play all the items either uh, we're running three Brooklyn Hill. Not only is this a great stadium for our deck because of that water Pokemon style, we can get those Staryu's and Volcanions, uh, but it is a counter to some of the other stuff, and we don't want to be burning energy without uh, with Scorched Earth if we if we have other ways of using it already. Uh, we're running two Lysander. Uh, we're running three N, one Olympia. Very very good here. We are running four Sycamore. Uh, four choice band. Again, you guys can cut these items down a little bit if you want. This is anti garb anyway. So if you guys don't want to run the items and go for like Kukui, you can run a Lily if you wanted to. Uh, instead of having all these extra items, you can do that. Don't don't take just this list and go, hey look, I've, I've got an anti garb deck. You gotta modify your own decks. So when you're playing it, I love to hear the suggestions that you have when you're playing them. Because I am no pro. I, I play TCG. Just like you guys, just a little bit at a time, have a good time with it. But I love hearing your ideas and your strategies you use with the idea of the deck in mind. Um, we are running two more float stones just for that good old safe retreats, and we have 14 fire energy. This way, we have that opportunity to steam up without having to worry. Uh, we'll be able to get that nitro tank GX off sometimes, and we'll have tons of drops hopefully to keep our attacks running smoothly. But that is going to be it for the deck list. Let me know your thoughts and how we are going to do today in these matches, and I will catch you guys on the ladder. All right, guys, match number one is against Shadow Shakorin playing Grass Psychic. I'm pretty interested to see how this matchup goes. Now, we should have initiative on some of the Pokemon, but I don't know if like that psychic is just Tapu Lele and it's like an anti item lock sort of thing. But again, item lock really doesn't hurt us as bad. We might just get a lot of cards in hand. Uh, we are going to be going second here, so if my opponent is playing, you know, Vile Plume or anything like that, we should not hurt too badly. Now we've got a nice setup here. Uh, I do need to find like a supporter or something to go along with what I've got. Um, but overall, not a terrible hand. I can start attacking. My opponent is playing, oh, is playing item lock. So my opponent goes for a trainer's mail, just runs for a Bridget, just runs straight into a Bridget, goes for three basic Pokemon. It's probably going to be uh, Rowlets. Definitely going to probably be Rowlets. And maybe another Oddish in the back. Ah, uh, it's Tapu Bulu's. This is going to be a little bit more interesting. I'm already hyped. Uh, we're also going to see that Fomantis, we're going to see that energy drop on the Tapu Bulu. Um, and we're going to get an Ultra Ball, which is actually exactly what we needed. Uh, I do want to drop a Float Stone down on you. And I got to use these item cards up when I can. Uh, I probably have to sacrifice the Starmie. I'm going to probably be item locked pretty early. Let's sacrifice that Starmie. I can rescue Stretcher it later. Uh, I'm gonna get the uh, Tapu Lele, which can get me that supporter that I most desperately need. I'm gonna drop this fire energy down. I'm gonna go for the Tapu Lele. I have to go for the end because I do need to keep this Via Seeker around for later. Now, if I can get a fire energy, I can eliminate this Oddish right away because uh, I already do 40 damage. I do not get a fire energy. That is a bit of a disappointment. We can drop our star you down. Another Volcanion. Um, choice band down. Again, I'm trying to run these items as fast as I can because if if I manage to lose to this Oddish's lineup, um, I don't want to not have that opportunity. Uh, put a card for me. Yes, I want to grab that Starmie. And this way I can just evolve next turn. Um, I can go for Power Heater now. I can't knock out Oddish. He will live on 10. Um, but it's still a good shot. We just missed out on getting that additional Fire Energy, and that's our problem. If I could Steam up, I could have gotten it back later on. But unfortunately, we did not get it. Uh, we've played a bunch of items. 
Our opponent drops a Grass Energy down on the Fomantis instead of setting up that Tapu Bulu even further. Can go for that Horn Attack, but not not too big of a deal right now. Uh, we are going to see an Ultra Ball, probably going for that uh, Lorantis. This is probably Lorantis Bulu, which is a cool combo. Um, and I really like that Bridget can grab these guys. Uh, because they aren't EXs, they're GXs, right? Uh, actually just goes for another Fomantis. Um, I don't know what they're going for here. I'll be honest, I, I can't tell. Uh, either way, it does not look like they're in a great or particularly great position. I would have gone for like, oh, there's the Tapu Lele, so we will be seeing a supporter of some sort here. Uh, which is a good, good move on my opponent's part. Good move on my opponent's part. Saving all those cards, potentially knowing that they can get a Lele, or a... A Fomantis or something actually goes for the Lysander. Lorantis is out. Up comes Volcanion. He's gonna try and stall me out. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Olympia. I can drop the Fire Energy down on my first Vulcanion, don't need to use Steam Up right now. I can go for the Starmie, and in my hand is a Sycamore, so I can at least get rid of this Oddish. No item lock for you today, and you're down to one card. We're going to claim our first prize is an Ultra Ball, but we don't need it. Don't really need it. Uh, honestly, if I had Fire Energy, I could have sacrificed it to the good old uh, Starmie. But we're going to see a Sycamore. My opponent did get that last Oddish. We're going to see... Some sort of solar, it's going to be Floral Power, but he has no basic fire, uh, Grass Energy in the discard. So, it'll be interesting how it goes. He is definitely going for that uh, Vile Plume now. We're going to see Floatstone on Oddish, and it's just hitting that Floral Supply. There's no additional Grass Energy, it's been hit pretty hard on that. I lie, he has two of them in there. So, Bulu is now fully activated. Uh, baby Volcanion is really not what we need. I'm not even wanting to waste the bench space on it, to be honest with you. So we're gonna, we're gonna have to go for this. All right. I got two Volcanions up. I can drop a Floatstone down. I want to save this Brooklyn Hill. I can steam up twice, which gives me a plus 30, 60. So 60 plus the 20. I think I can knock this guy out. So I'm at 50, that's 100. Yeah, I can knock this guy out. And then I can just sacrifice my one of my cards to the Starmie to get the energy back. Actually, that's, that's a great way of doing this. So we're gonna go for steam up. So off of a one energy drop, we should be able to knock this guy out. I'm gonna space beacon away my Volcanion. And I'm gonna grab two fire energies back. And I don't need to acquire them, or I don't need to set them up, so that's uh, 100, 160, sorry, that, that's uh, Yes, we knock out. We knock out. Off of a 1 energy drop, we are going to hit for 220 damage. That is one knocked out Lorantis. We get a Fire Energy and a Turtonator GX. Right now he's going to bring in that top of Bulu. Uh, but we are in perfect condition to just re-attack. We do need to get a Choice Band though. Um, actually we don't because Lorantis had higher HP. So the Gloom is up. We're going to end. Oh, that's a good play on my opponent's part. Where we are going to lose all our potential here. Because all our energy is currently gone. I can get a Sycamore. I did get a Sycamore though, so I'm not, I'm not threatened by that. Uh, this guy can hit me for pretty good damage. In fact, he's just needing to... He's going for Nature's Judgment. Isn't that the GX attack? No. No, no. It's just the regular. It's just the regular. It's okay. It's been a long day. All right. Uh, I will just go into my Volcanion here. 
it's not going to be a big deal. Actually, I could have made a huge play and brought those two energies onto my Pokemon, but I didn't. Um, he's already in on what I want. I don't need the Tapu Lele. I can just switch into the other Volcanion. Um, I'm actually good to sacrifice what I've got here. Is there one fire? There's one fire energy. If I'm going to do it, I might as well Space Beacon. Get rid of the Lysander. I'm going to uh, drop that down. And Sycamore. And hope for some fire. Yes, we got both fire and our choice band. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're going to retreat into our baby Volcanion. Uh, choice band is going to come down. Uh, I don't really need to float stone that gloom yet. Uh, we are going to just be able to steam up. We saw how much damage we did before. Uh, we'll be able to do that again. And I can hold off this time. I'm not in a rush to get that fire energy back. In fact, I might want to attach them to our Volcanians. Start getting some energy on the board. Gaining the ability to use the Volcanians as attackers is also great. Somehow, I didn't knock you out. You're not weak to grass. Or, sorry, you're not weak to fire. That's a problem. He's going to Lysander in. And he'll be able to knock out one of my Volcanians. That was a big mistake on my part. Big mistake. I'm forgetting that Tapu Bulu is not... What? We might be in trouble. I forgot Bulu is not... Um... This game just got interesting. I got Field Blower. I had that in my hand too, so I could have saved my Volcanion last turn. I, uh, I forgot about the no weakness. Which is a, a big, a big problem. A big problem. No, he's used his GX attack. And I don't have Turtonator in here right now. I think I need to stall a little bit. I'm gonna bring up the other Bulu. Retreat into baby. Drop down the uh, fire energy. And go for power heater. I'm only going to do 50 damage, but I got to make a comeback here. Now, he can't heal again, which is good. He has used his GX attack. He can't heal. Uh, uh, but he can, you know, just go for a floatstone drop onto that Tapu Bulu and switch in and knock out my, my Volcanion. Now, he can still Lysander as well. He's not trapped. He does get that Force of Jam plants out, and he is going to sick more. So he can't Vulcan he cannot Lysander now. That is good. That is good to know. I do need another Volcanion though, in order for me to steam up properly. But I have Starmie, I can get my energies back, I just need to get another Volcanion. I do have two currently in the discard pile. Uh, so if I can get a Rescue Stretcher, which I know I've used one already. Um, he is going to go for the... Where'd you get the other 20 damage? I have no idea. Either way, we're gonna come up here. This match is not over. This match is actually really exciting. It's really difficult. Okay. I need to sacrifice Starmie to get a fire energy drop. Right? I will then sacrifice them. 
Uh, this is to steam up. Okay, I need to draw... I need a Sycamore, and I need to draw into... Either Rescue Stretcher or the other Volcanion. It's the only way we can win it. No. But I did get Brooklyn Hill! Brooklyn Hill screaming for a Volcanion! Here we go. Now we're in range. We are so in range to knock this guy out. Uh, steam up, get that last hit in. And we'll knock out this Bulu one-shotting. Which is exactly what we need. Oh man. Okay, Bulu is out of here. We just need to take out one more prize. I've made some misplays. I admit, like that choice band, I could have saved one of my Volcanians early game. Um, but I don't think he has this. Because he needs to double drop still in order to hit properly with this guy. Now, it's... Oh, it's the Lorantis on the back. That's that's where he's getting that additional 20 power. I did miss that drop. So these aren't... He's got a good chunk amount of Pokemon here. Um, but we're going to see the Grass Energy drop onto that Lorantis. Uh, he does switch into it. You have a... Oh, you have Floatstone. Correct. Uh, but I just need to go for one of these guys. You can power up all you want, but as long as I have that... Uh, he's going for Vileplume right now. He's going for Vileplume. Amazing play on my opponent's part. And I've used up both of my Lysanders. So I can't naturally draw into it. Can't naturally draw into it. He is just going to bring up my Vulcanian. Amazing plays on my opponent's part. I've used up both of my Floatstones. Uh, and I can't go for Olympia. He's locked me in. He's locked me in! Flower Supply increases to 60 damage. Amazing lock right at the end for my opponent. Because I didn't think we were going to lose it. But uh, apparently we are. Apparently we are. And my opponent's got... We're, we're literally down to the neck and wire here. It's a bit of a disappointment that I can't get him, but you know what? My opponent played beautifully. Got the lock right where it mattered, so I can't play half of my cards. Um, needless to say, this was a beautiful play. Uh, this is where three Lysanders would have come in clutch, or a second Olympia. But sadly, it's not the case. Uh, there is no way I can actually pull through here. There is unfortunately no way to pull through here. I did make a lot of mistakes in this matchup, and I admit to that. But you know what? It was a good game, regardless of the situation. Now I get all my fire energy. I did have that early game issue with not getting the fire energies in the discard, uh, and I pulled out a little. I pulled them back into my hand a little too early instead of setting up the board. So it's just a bit of mislearning on that part. But uh, I do have to pass. My opponent will be able to claim the uh, the match here. And I'll say, well played. He's just going to go for the attack. That is going to be the game. Hopefully, I can learn from my mistakes in game number one and go into game number two with a better feel of this deck. It's just, it was a fantastic matchup. Technically speaking, I should have won it. Vileplume does put a lot of pressure on it. That's, I had to use a lot of items early game, and it did mess me up. Using up that rescue stretcher early made it so I couldn't grab things later. And, uh, unfortunately, it just means I have to play better in the next matchup. That's all it does. But I'll be back with game number two in just a second. So, we're going up against Jerdaden. 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 Gee, I'm sorry I butchered it. I, I guarantee you, 100%, if this guy sees my video, he'll be like, You butchered my name, man. How could you butcher my name? It's this. Oh, it's Jared Aiden. Jared Aiden. Like two names together in one name. Jared and Aiden. We're gonna go first. We're gonna go first. We got double Volk with an N. It's good. I'm not gonna deny that. It's it's a pretty decent. I had something hanging in my hair. Something hanging in my hair. I don't know what it was either. 
that's really scary. Considering I did uh, wash my hair up this morning, I wash every morning, just so you guys know. But uh, that doesn't mean, oh, please don't be Sylveon. I didn't see the colors, I didn't see anything. What do I do here? I actually plan to sacrifice those two fire energies. This is the best play. Uh, this will get me into a good start, I think. I didn't get that baby Volk. I can still get baby Volk. Brooklyn Hill can get me Starmie. Uh, sorry, Staryu, which is good. I do need to get that on the board ASAP. And I would like to get a Volcanion. Just a baby Volk. I've got so many fire energies already in the discard pile. It's not a bad thing, though. Keep in mind, I was, I'm was i rushing through fire energy way too quick, but it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. I can get, uh, I can get, I can play Tapu Lele next turn. Actually, I have Via Seeker already, so I'm going to hold off on playing either of them. I can Olympia and start setting them up on the following turn. I already need, I already have what I need. It's just a matter of seeing what my opponent plays. He's going for Espy on does go for that energy evolution so it's not Sylveon which is good because I didn't want to see Sylveon really did not want to see Sylveon not that Sylveon counters me hard but Espion might just be worse though because I can't super effectively hit it I have to use a, like a Volcanion EX to get in there I don't know how this is going to work out it's a little scary my opponent does get to use that good old Psy Beam. Hit me for 30. My opponent is going for an Ultra Ball, which I believe is going to go for that Tapu Lele. Uh, it's going for a Shaman Drop, which is good for me because I can target that as an easier knockout than going through the Espeon. Uh, but he is going to draw back up to 6. And let the let the plays begin for my opponent. He's going to hit me for 30. There we go. Um, I'm just going to Olympia. Having Olympia in my hand now was a pretty nice thing to... Or like that Via Seeker to help me into this baby Volk is nice. Because um, it does mean my Volcanion is not going to be affected too badly. I can go for a Power Heater here. And I'm going to start setting up both of these Volcanions. So Fire Energy for both. And that means I've got two more in the discard pile. They'll be soon on these Volcanions. We've, we've done a little bit of damage to Espeon. Just, just a slight tap. He's, you know, it's, what, a tenth of its HP? So. And we're going to see it's a Vaporeon here. Oh. Oh. We're done for. Is that what you're saying? Evolutions take out Volcanion. Evolutions take out Volcanion. Oh man, that's not cool. That's not good. So we're gonna see the second energy drop can only hit me for 60, but that's still 60 more damage than I want to take. We're gonna see a Sycamore from my opponent's hand, and that was a switch, and a th I don't know what he missed out on, but we're gonna see that it is the trainer's mail up. I do want to take out this Vol uh, Vaporeon. Like, I need to, like, ASAP take that thing out. He's already gotten rid of his switch. Um, that's fine by me. I just need to up that Vaporeon and take it out. We're going to see a level ball. This is going to give him another Eevee. This will give him the opportunity to set up another Espeon. Actually, it's going to go for Marini. Uh, so is this an Espeon Toxapax deck? That would be kind of cool. Uh, and this also lets him... I don't know why he level balled for it. Because he could have Brooklyn Hilled for it. I don't think he knows that. Psychic Energy onto that Marini. Just goes for Psybeam. Uh, it does hit me for weakness. But it's okay. I'm going to get a Fire Energy. I'm actually going to drop that down onto our Volcanion. I'm going to drop the Tapu Lele down. Uh, yes. I need Lysander. I need an early game Lysander right now. Get as much damage off on this thing as possible. 
but I'm future-proofing my next turn as well by setting that fire energy down. If I can't knock it out this way, and he does knock out my baby, I'm, I'm going to take 30 more damage myself. So I'm sitting at 90 out of 130, which is not good. It's not good. Uh, but he's got Vaporeon up here. He needs to double kill this energy drop. He can switch, but... This might be his plays where he can really start to set things up because he knows I have to get rid of this Vaporeon. It is really the only end. Why would he? Ugh, he's setting up that uh, Marini pretty well with those max elixirs, but he is definitely not garb material. Like, look at all these items. Two, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in here. He's trying to go, but if I was playing garb right now, he might be in trouble. But right now I'm playing Volcanion. And I don't know what just happened there. Just kind of did a shuffle. I don't, I don't know. He passes the turn. Uh, I'm going to get another Volcania, which I can just drop it and Sycamore. I'm fine with this. I got that Starmie. I can start grabbing some energies or whatever I need to do here. I really do not want to... I want to knock this thing out. Is really what I want to do. And I've got only two fire energies in here. You got 90 HP. I'm in a really bad spot. Go for the power heater. I fail again. It's that confusion. That Espeon has always been a bane in my existence with that side beam. That that one energy 30 damage is so strong in comparison to some things just because you are gambling every single turn. And my gamble is never very good. This Vaporeon is actually a problem for me. Because my opponent will be able to have a fully set up Espeon, a fully set up Toxapex in the back once it can evolve. Um, I need to end. This this is a hard hand. This is a hard hand. There's nothing to steam blow on my opponent's side either. Or steam blow. Field blower. My brain is not working for Pokemon today. Brain's telling me if I, if I can land this, I can set up almost two Volcanians back to back and I'm great. But I'm also looking at it being like, I might lose here. Thank you! Oh, he came through. Okay, so we'll have almost two full Volcanians set up. I just need a Fire Energy, which I can get back if this Volcanion does go down. Uh, but we managed to live through that. My Volcanion is up. Uh, we are going to see Toxapex now up. Uh, and this is going to be a very crucial match here, because I can't take either of these things out. He has Victini. So he has those coin flipping actions as well. Another Marini with a uh, Psychic Energy Choice Band onto the Espeon, which I can feel blower. I plan to get rid of that. You are not coming in here with that. Right now, we're just kind of biding our time. It really comes down to, do I lose my Volcanion? And I am not losing Volcanion here. I'm going to feel blower that away. You are not getting that. Get rid of that. Thank you. No choice banned for you. But what do I do? What is my next play? I'm going to drop a Flowstone on Starmie. Because if anything goes wrong in this play, I do not want to offer up an EX. And I fail. So I knock myself out! But I can go into Starmie. Espeon got a knockout by attacking me once. 
and just three coin flips made it so it was impossible for me to come through. Impossible for me. We're going to see a Lysander now into that blank Volcano. And we're going to see Field Blower is going to get rid of my Stadium. And the Floatstone off of my Starmie. Okay. So we're going to see our turn change, and we are going to get an Ultra Ball. What do I need to get myself into this game? I can drop the Choice Band down here. He's in a spot where he's in that 7 prize pool. I need a lot of cards and I don't have that option right now. My play here is I think just to Olympia and set up for the following turn. He's got to waste the Lysander or something now if he does not want my attack to go through. Because I will use my Lysander on the following turn. I have one fire energy in here. Just one. I think that's our play. I'm going to pass. I have to be defensive here. Because I can hit him for 150 right now. I just need one steam up. So if I get one fire energy, he's going to Lysander. He, is he seriously going to Lysander me out of this and stall war? He is going to Lysander and stall war. We get baby Volk. I have Lysander in there already, so I'm not worried in that regard. I haven't got a choice. I'm going to have to end. I got uh, got a float stone, which I'm going to drop down. But that's the best I can do. Uh, Brooklyn Hill. Now I'm just going to pass this turn. Um... I'm not I'm not in a good spot at all because I can't guarantee my uh, Tapu Lele now I can't guarantee Tapu Lele or not Tapu Lele I can't guarantee Lysander I have two potential choices there's a Lysander in the deck and there's via seeker but uh, and now he's got the vo oh choice band drop uh, we're gonna and he's got the v he steamrolled into everything he needed. He steamrolled into everything we needed. Whereas I could not get a single card that I needed. I'm I'm really not happy about how that turned out. I couldn't I couldn't stop him. At least in my mind I couldn't stop him. And I lost the choice band off of that too. So is that two choice bands gone? Just one. It's just one. So fire energy down. I need a Tapu Lele. I can rescue Stretcher a bunch of Pokemon back into the deck, but I do need a Tapu Lele. I need to get. I need to get a lot of resources because we are in so we're so far behind. It's not it's not cool. Uh yes. We need to get a sycamore. I need to get two fire energies. Cause we hit for 130. Uh we're gonna put some Pokemon back into the deck. And that is going to be a Volcanion, a Turtonator, and a Baby Volcanion. Uh, I have to Sycamore at this point. 
Okay, I get I get the steam up abilities. I got those. I can probably take this guy out. And by probably I mean I can. I may not be able to survive the next like I can't do anything the following turn, but uh I'm gonna get rid of this guy. No Espion. Goodbye. Okay, Sycamore, Brooklyn Hill. N I don't need either of them. He's gonna come into that Toxapex. Uh, that Toxapex can go for that super intense poison, which can put 10 poison counters on me in between turns. So I will have to retreat. But we're not in the end of. Like, we're not at the end of the world here. Like, it's not over. We're gonna see total shelter. What is total shelter? Prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. Leaves him at one prize. This is probably game here. This isn't a this is a deadly combo here. It's a lot of energy. I can't attack him. I can't do damage anyway. I made a misplay. This is the time I should have gone to Turtinator and just GX attacked. Oh! Well, this is where I'm going to go into his victi. Oh! One energy drop. One energy drop. One energy drop. You are not protected. You are not protected. So let's go for power heater. We'll do 20 damage to Shaman. We're going to drop an energy down on Turtonator, and energy down on Volcania. Am I out of this? I think so. But he's got to have an energy. He's got to have one more energy. If he has the energy, he can switch. He's got another Toxapex on the back. He's got four discarded. He has a switch. This is going to be game. I can't get out of this. I can't get out of this. He's already done the total shelter, so he can only go for that poison. He can only go for poison. He actually goes for spike cannon. Is that enough to knock me out? It is enough to knock me out. Weakness? Weakness? Oh, the Vaporeon! That Vaporeon still came back and knocked me out. Oh. Alright, guys. Apparently, I don't know how to play Volcanion. But, with the right situations and the right setup, you can easily do well here. I apologize that I gave you two losing matches. But, uh, the matches were interesting. The grass deck completely owned me, and I could not pass up showcasing you a guy, a, a Toxapex GX deck, which just. My unknown, uh,. Like, I don't know it very well, because, let's be honest here, when do you see Tox Packs? Um, so, it, it completely stalled, or it completely cut me off, and he got so much luck in some of those middle turns, in terms of me not getting the cards I needed, um, he getting really all those Lysanders back to back that not only stalled, stalled me out long enough where I couldn't attack him, but he was able to come in and offensively take me out as well. So my opponent played a perfect game. Uh, that's why I didn't want to just say, you know what, this this is not a good match. But it is! It is a fantastic match for my opponent. Uh, in terms of me, I just have to learn how to balance my Volcanians better. Um, I, I didn't do a whole lot of practice with it prior to, this, to the recording, so that could be why. Um, especially with this one being so different some, than some of the other Volcanian methods I've played prior. Um... This one here, it's like Starmie has to get so much energy back. Volcanion can get the energy back. And it's a matter of managing your resources properly. And I unfortunately did fail there. But in the certain situations, that could have been a much better play. I could have gotten the energies back, done the damage. Then I could have gotten the... Uh, then I could have played them with Baby Volcanion. There's a whole lot of opportunity there that I missed. And I just wanted to showcase that you guys can do a lot more damage with Volcanion than I showcased. Um, but with that... I do apologize for the losses. I will try to make better with Volcanion in the future. 
Uh, but that is going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are hitting that subscribe button because, well, I know that was a pretty faulty match, but I do showcase some pretty good matches throughout the rest of the episodes. So if you guys are brand new here, please hit that subscribe button. It does mean the world to me, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. But until then, time out.